There's a lot of ways to make money online, and selling game assets is one of them. This might seem daunting at first, especially if you're a beginner, but fear not. In this video, I will go through all the tiny steps included to take you from a beginner to uploading your first pixel art game asset. The best thing about that is you upload it once, and then it generates money constantly while you're sleeping. First, you will need an idea. Open your browser, go to itch.io. On the left side, you will see the tab Game Assets. Click on it and go to Best Sellers. Scroll through the assets and choose one that looks nice. We're taking the idea making it better and uploading it again. It's like theft, but better. So I found this great looking acid pack. I decided to make some elemental spells. The next step is to take our original idea and put it into life. You will need a program to draw with. Go to asprite.org, buy a sprite and install it. If you don't want to spend 20 bucks on a sprite, I got you. Go to asprite.org slash older versions. There you can get an out of date version of asprite completely free of charge. Now open asprite and create a new file. Choose the size of your canvas. Click on OK. On left side of the screen you can see your color palette. At the moment it's the default palette, but I don't personally like it. I will not teach you color theory in this video, but I will show you the way to find your own color palette with ease. Again, it's called stealing. Go to lowspec.com. On the top of the site, click on palettes. I usually like palettes that are around 16 to 32 colors. It's especially good to restrict your colors if you're a beginner. Choose a palette that you like and click on download. Choose the PNG image one time. You will get the file that looks like this. Now go back to a sprite. Over the color palette, click on options. Choose load palette and find the palette you just downloaded and then click OK. This is a beginner tutorial, but I will still show you how to make four different spells just because I can. The fire spell, it consists of two parts. One is the portal and the other one is the explosion. And it all looks kind of complicated. I get that. I'm not going to get too deep into animation. I'm just going to give you some principles on how to actually make some animations. To create new frames, you can click on the bottom right of the screen on the plus. You can also use the shortcut Alt plus N. The first 11 frames are the portal opening and closing. Then we have one empty frame, followed by a black contrast frame, a white contrast frame, followed by the explosion and the smoke disappearing. So it's 20 frames in total and this is what the explosion looks like. Next, we do the water spell, which is gonna be an ice spike. In the top left of your program, click on file and create a new file. The size is gonna be 128 by 120. It's going to be 12 frames. First, we create the spike animation. The spike is gonna come out quickly out of the ground. It will stay for a short time and then retract again. To make the big spike more impactful, I actually added two small spikes next to it. Now add some flying eyes of the spike as well. And then when retracting, the eyes falls off the spike. Next, a color in the spikes. I keep it simple here just go from light at the top to dark at the bottom. To finalize we add a little bit of water at the bottom and we're done. So next one we have the earth spike spell. The earth spike spell is gonna be a shock wave consisting of 10 frames. The small spike, the medium spike and then suddenly a large spike. The spike is gonna come off the ground and then when it's out it's gonna collapse in on itself leaving a little bit of dust. This is what it looks like. The fourth spell is gonna be the air spell which is just gonna be a shock wave and it's gonna go poof. Basically a bolt of lightning is gonna strike the ground and leave a shock wave. Create a new file 128 by 128 as beforehand. This animation is gonna consist of two parts, the bolt itself and second the shock wave. First eight frames are a lightning bolt that impacts the ground. The last six frames are gonna be a shock wave that emits from this impact point. See how the last frame of the bolt and the first frame of the impact connect to each other. And to color it in I just make sure to darken the shock wave further away from where the white light is coming from. With the animation done let's go to the next step. Game developers actually don't just work with animations. They work with sprite sheets. These are usually PNG files and have all the frames of one character next to each other. To export your animation as a sprite sheet, go to File, Export Sprite Sheet. The keyboard shortcut is Ctrl plus E. The export button will probably be grayed out. To fix this, click on Open Sprite Sheet on the bottom left. To save the sprite sheet, go to File, Export. The shortcut is Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus S. Choose a file location and leave the rest as is. Click on Export and you're done. Repeat this process with all your four files. Now you have a bunch of PNG images. Fantastic. But before uploading, I personally like to zip them up into a .zip file. You will need WinRAR or 7-zip or programs similar to this to actually do that. If you don't have a program like that, go to winrar.com and click on download. Run the install.exe and follow the install instructions. After the installation finished, go back to your folder with all the PNGs. Select all of them. You can do that by clicking and dragging your mouse over them and then releasing once they're all in the box. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl plus A 
and all of them will be selected at once. Then right click and click on add to archive. You can change the name if you like and choose the archive format to .zip. Then click on OK. You now have a .zip file with all your sprite sheets in one folder. With the files being ready, it's time to upload them. While there are a lot of marketplaces to choose from, I will focus solely on itch.io this video. Go to itch.io and on the top right, click on register. If you already have an account, click on login. Choose the name, password and email address and create your account. You You've done it a thousand times, I don't have to tell you how to do that. Go back to itch.io and click on the arrow on the top right next to your username. Choose the option Upload New Project. A new page will open up, giving you heaps of options. In the title section, choose the name of your asset pack. The tagline is basically your subtitle and will be shown with your main name. At the classification, choose Game Asset. The kind of project is downloadable. Release status, release. At pricing, you can choose if you want to charge for your asset pack or release it for free. Click on upload and choose your .zip file. Change the file type from executable to graphical asset. The details tab is your page description and will be shown on the main asset page. You can add images, videos, hyperlinks. You can write a poem if you like. Add important information like the size of your sprite asset and how many sprites you actually are giving out. Tags are important, that's how people usually find your sprite asset pack. For my asset pack it would be something like pixel art or magic. You can choose a custom noun as well. It doesn't really change much but you can do it. You can ignore the download and install instructions, as most game developers will definitely know what they have to do with your assets. I recommend taking the time to create a nice cover image. This is like your thumbnail. Now when you when you have filled in everything, click on save a new page. This is what your page will look like. To make it look nicer, you can click on edit theme and change the colors, the fonts, you can add a banner image, you can add a background image and really adjust it so it looks nice. Take your time and make it pretty. This is what my asset page looks like in the end. And there you go. Now you have your first game asset uploaded. Let me know if you want to see more tutorials like this. But before you go, I have something special for you. I've uploaded all the assets that I created in this video for free, free of charge. Download link in the description. Subscribe to this channel, do the, do the stuff that's important. It actually takes quite a while to make a video like this. Thank you for your love and support. Now go and create.